Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting math problem. This time focusing on inequality, a challenge for beginners. Today's problem is, given positive number x and y, find the minimum value of 7x squared plus 7y squared plus 243 over 2xy plus 9x plus 36y. Before we dive into the solution, I encourage you to press pause, grab your pen and paper and give it your best shot. When you're ready, share your answers in the comment. Then we'll explore the solution together. Let's get started. There are several methods to solve this problem, but some involve heavy calculation and may not be easy to understand or verify. In this video, we'll use a simpler method involving the AMG and inequality for two variables. Which states a square plus b square is greater than or equal to 2ab. We start by splitting the terms x square, y square, and 2, 4, 3 as follow. ax square plus 7 minus ax square plus by square plus 7 minus by square plus c plus 2, 4, 3 minus c. We then combine terms of the same color as shown in this video. Applying the AMG inequality to the pairs of terms of the same color, we get an expression that is at least 2 square root AB times XY plus 2 square root C times 7 minus A times X plus 2 square root of 7 minus B times 2, 4, 3 minus C times y. Next, we compare this expression with the denominator of the original fraction 2xy plus 9x plus 36y. Our goal is to find the values of a, b, and c such that the ratios of the corresponding terms are equal. After some calculation, which we detail in the video, we consider the values a equals 4, b equals 1, and c equals 27. These values give the desired ratios. So now we go on to the presentation. We write 7x squared plus 7y squared plus 243 as 4x squared plus 3x squared plus y squared plus 6y squared plus 27 plus 216. We combine the terms 4x squared and y squared, 3x squared and 27, and lastly 6y squared and 216, and apply the AMG inequality. This expression is at least 2 times 2xy plus 9x plus 36y. Thus, the fraction in the problem is at least 2. However, to conclude that the minimum value of this fraction is 2, we need to check the equality case. Equality holds if and only if 4x squared equals y squared, 3x squared equals 27, and 6y squared equals 216. This gives us x equals 3 and y equals 6. Confirming that the minimum value of the fraction in this problem is indeed 2. While we have successfully solved this problem, it's always beneficial to practice what you've learned. Try solving the following question using a similar method and feel free to share your answer in the comment. That concludes today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more exciting mathematics challenge in the future. Until next time, take care and bye-bye.